Ladies and gentlemen, can I present to you something a little bit crazy, okay? This right here, this beautiful big blueberry thing right here, okay? That would be OB21. And I'm gonna give you every single detail about this entire setup in about 20 seconds here. Don't forget to subscribe to us, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and throw it on comments to help support us and get us an algorithm and really helps us make and do better giveaways every single time. And also, if you guys could leave a comment below what you think about this at the end of the video or whatever you want. Now I'm gonna get into unloading these skid steers, so I'm gonna sweat my ass off in this Florida heat and probably do a shirt swap because I'm gonna get sweaty. Pretty sick, huh? <laughs> um, okay. Well, you just saw the big blue, big blue bad skinny pull off the trailer, and uh, I'm not gonna talk about it yet. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I usually do. I'm gonna go to the trailer first. It's kind of the most boring. It's the most boring part of the giveaway, but it's still super sick. It's a uh, it's 25 foot gooseneck, 20 foot deck. It is a low trail to 2023, and we paint matched the entire thing. You guys missed it. Obi 20, you asked for paint matching back. We did it paint match atlas blue to match the truck and the trailer now like i said these are the same trailers we give away almost every single time they're low trails they have rubberized decks they're 25 feet long 20 foot decks they have max steps they have mega ramps we put 18 rock lights on the bottom of it and we change out to um advanced tires basically so we have more ply um the factory tires are kind of eh so we throw a higher ply rating tire on there to make sure a little more secure and that's it dude so Trailer is very basic, completely custom, like tri coat paint job. It's sick. You know, we two tone the ramps actually this time too. The powder coat, the factory black powder coat is kind of better. So we left that black. And then up here, black as well. So pretty sweet. Yeah, not bad, huh? And I'm gonna let slam. Boom. There's a the trailer, man. Rubberized decking, like I said. It's really good for you guys' attachments. You push down on the hydraulics too hard, it's a little give. You don't kind of snap your wood right in half. I mean, it's still wood under here, but you know, uh, it's nice for when you're loading up like slicker things like. It's wet out and you're loading up a, uh, a truck, for example. This is, it gets a little more grip on there. It's nice gritty little material, it's nice, dude. Yeah, there's not much really to say. You know, it's a, it's a badass brand new trailer, paint match it, tires and rock lights. So, now time for the machine. All right, so now time for the skiddy, a part of the puzzle that you guys really seem to like and obviously makes a bunch of money. It's the money maker right here. Skid steer. Track loader skid steer, we don't call it. It's a 2017 Caterpillar 2790 skid steer and they don't come from the factory blue. They come from the factory yellow and black and uh now it's blue and black we custom painted it atlas blue to match the truck next to it and uh why is this so special well in my opinion caterpillar makes some brute machines okay the things hold up they get abused and they can run for a long time this by chance is not an abused machine it has 1500 hours this is 2017 it has a heated seat in there yeah 74 horsepower right under the def level there is 195 pound feet of torque it's a beast it'll push some dirt around and we have an 84 inch bucket on there, so it's a little bit oversized. If you pull the whole thing up, the machine might struggle a little bit, but it's a bigger machine. So um, it's super sick. We just go through the machine real quick, Mitch. As you know, our paint match machines, we paint match the entire thing. So brand new bucket. Everything on the body has been painted Atlas Blue, including the windows, not doing these black this time. Then blue looks pretty sweet. All the hardware has been painted, re repainted black. The bottom portion with the track strap, it's also been painted gloss black. All the windows are 5% tint, which I don't recommend if you're actually gonna use it. I do recommend pulling the at least the front, the front off, the sides can maybe stay. Or if you work by yourself, you're okay then. And you know, in the sun, in Texas, and Florida, it's really nice to keep it cool. It is AC and heated, and has a heated seat, so you don't like if you're in the north and you don't need the tent. It's awesome. You still have heat and AC. Um, but yeah, going on to the side, all the pistons have been repainted with gloss black. The lines are painted, and um, the weights. And obviously, the back door back here is black and black, and the front of the machine is black and black up the front. It matches the back of the trailer and then the back of the truck as well. So uh, here's the machine, super sick, man. All right, so now we're gonna check out the interior. Let me hop in this thing real quick. Nice little platform too. Super sick with the cat, love that. So you have, it's a this is a very base model machine. No crazy screen. You have the hours are there, 1522. You have AC and heat, hydraulic switches, ISO, H pattern controls your foot control down here and that's pretty much it guys nothing crazy in this machine so it's a basic basic cat skid steer all right so whoo it's hot man even with ac on it's kind of hot out right now you saw a skid steer things pretty sick now to what everyone probably wants to see 
the truck. We've done a lot of things, given away a lot of items, done a lot of trucks, done a lot of trailers, done a lot of machines, whatever. One thing we've never done is give away a more capable truck than we have. We've always stuck 250s and 350s. For dualies, they've always been 350s. If you guys know trucks, you know that these fender flares right here gave off a good sign that this is not a 350. It is a, what Mitchell? 450. It is a 450, baby. So uh, wide track axle, badass, super capable dually that hauls around this shit like nothing. It's crazy. Not only is it a 450, it is a King Ranch 2022 450 that we completely paint matched. Atlas blue, the headlights, the grill, the logos, Every piece of plastic on this truck has been paint matched. The truck has like 8,000 miles on it. Maybe Chris drive around for a little bit, but it's pretty much a brand new truck. And uh, stock, they're going 100K, easy. And uh, this isn't stock anymore. So let's go through every detail, Mitch, and tell the boys exactly what we did at this thing by dumping $35,000 into the truck. Top down, top, way top up there. Up there, way up top on the roof, Mitch. Yeah, on the roof. There. Not factory LEDs, they are recon LEDs. They're all white, okay? Come down, factory hood, obviously, factory grill, factory everything on here, the front end, but it's not factory painted, right? So the factory truck would be complete chrome, the entire thing. The grill, or the bumper, the headlights, the chrome grill, the logo, and it's not anymore. Paint match, paint match, gloss black. This whole thing is the rough plastic, and obviously we sand it down and paint match the Atlas Blue. Everything on the whole truck is in sand down, paint match balance, and we have black, black accents in here, like behind the grill. You can see it's sitting on gloss black, it's usually chrome, and then on top of that's the Atlas Blue inserts. Uh, coming to the headlights, headlights are torn apart, painted inside black, gloss black, and the outside is a nice blue color. Like that looks what makes the truck in my opinion. Factory, LED, fog lights, we powder coated the hooks black, looks sweet. This thing looks freaking mean rolling down the road, dude. Like looks super, super sick. 2022, badass truck. All right, so now we finished up the paint matching on the front end. I'm gonna go right to the suspension, and the first piece of suspension from the front will be the dual stabilizers. They are King Dual Stabilizers, which is really cool. You really don't see that too much nowadays. And then you come to the side, you have King Reservoirs again on the side, and you have a four inch PMF lift kit, baby. So, oh my God. Oh fucking no. Whoa. What the, what's that? Pay match front end, King Resis, King Dual Stabilizers, like PMF suspension has been powder coated. It's like super sick. No expense spared at all. Super sick. Go into the wheels and tires. 26 inch JTX Forge wheels with 37 inch tires on there. Wheel and tire ratio is a little bit short on my end, but I think it looks really cool. And this truck kind of deserved a bigger wheel and tire setup, in my opinion. It looks it looks sick. And this is not an off road rig. So this is a hauling 450. So it's fine, man. It's fine. If you don't like it, guess what? You got $30,000 to buy our wheels. Or I'll buy them off you because I like these wheels. So going to the side of the truck, though, continuing the paint matching. The badging is, like I said, the King Ranch logo was taken out. And we did the Omos Blackle there because I thought it was cool. And then, uh, Pay match 450 logo and surround that used to be chrome now it's pay matched mirrors like i said as well pay match recon switchbacks in the mirrors white so you have white leds white headlights white uh cab lights as the whole truck's whited out looks really cool going to the side of the truck almost like a badging on the bottom pretty sweet pay match those surround up here used to be chrome painted little details like even the details like that like this would be chrome and now it's body color. Like no one really does that. Paint matched door handles as well. And uh, coming to the rear, like I said, paint matched traction bars. That's pretty much it. No bags in this truck. It doesn't need it. It's a 450. Oh, the rear. What am I doing, man? The rear of the truck. Come on, Mitch. This truck is not as big as our ones either, which I actually like. It's like a normal size truck. So I'm actually tall for once. It's pretty cool. So for the rear, we paint matched the King Ranch uh, like plate back here. It's usually chrome, then blacked out. Paint matched the bumper step, so that's also blue. Plug in for the trailer. Paint match as well as even the sensors have been painted and they still work great. Blacked out taillights. So even up here too on the tailgate, this has been paint match as well. This is usually rough plastic. And this handle here is gloss black. You can see it in the shadow or not, but this is done right here. And uh, that's, dude, this, this, this is like Supremo paint matching. You know, this freaking shit looks good. And last but not least, <laughs> leave. Last but not least is, uh, is our, our, our hookup setup basically. So uh, normal factory power, in uh, power cord for the trailer that charges the trailer batteries and has lights hooked to the power cord would be our custom little rock light switch so this right here pulls off with your plug you don't need it whenever you don't need it and when you do need it you put it in plug in right here boom and now you can power your rock lights from inside of the cab simple as that super super sick no one does that that's a custom that we do really really happy with that so um so now we're gonna go right into the interior and show you guys the beautiful, beautiful interior of the King Ranch, baby. My favorite interior. 
Oh, look at that, a beautiful pano sunroof. Yeah, in the King Ranch, baby. This is one of the nicest interiors in the entire automotive industry, in my opinion. Ford did a really, really, really good job of making this look very, very premium. Deep center console, like usual, it has a nice King Ranch logo embroidered right into it, and it's double layered leather, so it's like very, very quality. And I have a lot of complaints for a lot of uh, current interior issues, like with manufacturers, and for some reason Ford has none of them. So, very happy. Going from the center console, we're going right to the cup holders, and uh, huh, what'd you know, look at that, oh, an own boss knife, huh. Oh, oh, look at that, a, bu a mug. I'm not being a salesman, but yeah, these are actually some of our products, they're pretty sweet too. Boom, you got the lid. Got the embossed logo down there. And it's crazy, all of that fits in here with no problem. And the coolest part with the Fords too, which I wish other manufacturers did, is they have like movable things. And you can put four cup holders here, really convenient, or you can just throw it over, have your wallet sit here, have your knife, have it for $30,000, whatever you want. Down here, we have a wireless charger, USB-C and USB 2.0, super sick. And we'll go right up to the dash. So. Here is the new touchscreen for the 22, 23s, and uh, 24s. Same thing, all the same screen. And they're out of the, basically the 2021 F-150s. They're all the same screens now. Let's say I wanted to drive and have my battery camera open at the same time. So now I can have my audio and my battery camera open at the same time. So, that's pretty cool. So down here, we have the climate controls, which I am a fan of, that they're not buttons on the screen, they're physical buttons underneath it. Digital display displaying what temperature setting you have, which, funny enough, most trucks don't have that anymore um, because they can't find the chips for them still, crazy, three years later. Um, nice little aluminum fan switch when you're turning your air up or down, that's nice. You have the steering wheel sitting here, um, you have all your options on your steering wheel, really, really nice, you have cruise control, you, know, you can flip through your settings on the screen, and you have drum up and down. Over here you have window switches and mirrors, they are auto folding mirrors, and auto retracting, super convenient because if you're hauling around a big old trailer, sometimes you need that. And um, really past that, you have nice brown leather with brown, brown door cards and little wood accents. And um, even the speaker grills is brown. And nice little King Ranch logo, King Ranch floor mats. And dude, this thing is just super, super sick. One of my favorite interiors. Seats are super, super sick. Ford has the best seats in the game. And the King Ranch ones are on a different level. I don't know what the difference in the leather is, but unreal there is a sub box that says king ranch the lights up really pretty and uh it's underneath the seat and you have a, you can adjust it right here super professional install adjust it right here boom right down there if you can see that little knob you just twist the knob around and it moves 212 around sounds super sick anyways that is the interior of the 2022 f450 super duty so let's go back to the exterior all right, so you guys just saw the interior of the King Ranch, and like I said, you can't beat the blue on brown interior. It's, like, it's unmatched. You can't even fathom how good it looks compared to most spec trucks. Like, black interior is cool, but the King Ranch and the blue just looks insane. So, there's the truck, the trailer, the machine, completely paint match, there's a bunch of money dumped into it, yada yada. You saw the whole thing already, right? The best part is, you actually can win the entire setup, plus $30,000 in cash. All you gotta do is go to omosspico.com. You pick up some merch like this t-shirt right here. Like literally anything on the website is yours to pick and you get entries from that. Or you can enter for free. You look at official rules and learn how to enter for free as you well if you want. But uh, if you support us, like buying our merch and helping us grow our brand, then we can do bigger and crazier giveaways every single time. So <laughs> thank you for supporting us. Subscribe to our videos, like this video, throw down a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the paint match look? I personally think it's sweet. Let me know. Um, past that guys. Thank you for watching and good luck if you entered for OB21. This is one of the craziest things I've ever done. Absolute insanity. Thank you for watching.